Wake up. Okay, so, uh, hey there everyone, Skyhawk Outer playing Outer Wild, more specifically the Outer Wild DLC, and boy, yesterday, huh? <laughs> to continue and elaborate on the author description I've left on yesterday's video, I think that there are many implications by what happened yesterday, and by many I mean one, and by one I mean... I'm relatively sure that I would be able to brute force my way to the end, which I will not do. So, because yesterday, we were to the spot where there would have been a password, but the password was burned up, which I guess I should have expected. But I read a Alnet bug report about an OOB wrong warp that exists on the river, and I tried it, and that led me to one of the three torches that can be used to unseal the sarcophagus. You can thus, I believe, logically deduce that. Whoops, press the. I keep buckling up again. It's fun to buckle up. I think you can logically deduce that there's not going to be passwords at all. There, we're all going to be using exploits. And, and I mean, if you think about it, what's an exploit I've been using all game long here ever since I tripped over myself trying to cross some water? Yeah, the rendering bug. The ring, rendering sphere. I bet that that's a thing I'm going to learn. And, you know, just thinking about... Oh, whoops. Thinking about everything in that... That sphere. I have reason to believe that... You know, the way I intuited that you can probably destroy yourself and dead men cannot hear sounds... I wonder if that is the other thing that I'm going to learn. However... Uh, as I've stated, I will let the game exp- I want to see how the game explains to me these notions. So, I'm not gonna brute force. We're gonna do this for real. Beside the point, like, I also genuinely want to have access to the uncensored history reels. Like, <laughs> learning that what we see here- Okay, so this massive ring world, well, Silender world, whatevs, uh, you know? Very impressively made, really cool looking, and turns out <laughs> possibly made out of the hollowed husk of their own planet. They actually essentially killed their planet when they built this. This is the absolutely beautiful inverted rambling corpse of their world they sacrificed everything for their voyage you know how two-thirds of people died today due to the floods yeah and turns out that is two-thirds of all that is remaining of this civilization probably unless you got some wastelanders hanging out over there having fun not sure how they could be having fun, but I mean, I'm not gonna harsh their buzz. Like, the implication of everything that is happening, at least since yesterday, is absolutely and ludicrously tragic. And today, I die. Hey. Because... I mean, I feel like the last few days, I've been essentially acting like I was absolutely certain that, you know... Dead men cannot hear is a fact. But the more I've been thinking about this, but see, one one thing one have to remember, and I think is a contributing factor to my success in this game overall, like just like figuring things out. There's typically a solid like nearly 24 hours between runs, between loops even, right? And during the day, <laughs> shocker, I'm sure. Uh, I think a lot about this game, like, on my own time, when I'm just kind of doing things. There's a lot to think about, and, uh, ideas and stuff sprout in my head, you know, while I'm doing other things, like, pretty regularly. Is there not- oh, there's an elevator here? But it's not- uh, so I could go up there, maybe. 
But I want to go down in the pit. I am dead. I live strictly as a memory. I want to know what the alarm says. Because, let us not forget what the sarcophagus room looked like. I forgot how to get down there. Let us not forget how that room looked like. There's a room that is nothing but... Oh, that's the other side of a... Of a grapple point. Okay. Like, one of the defense system is strictly just a long bridge with... A... A BMOS alarm at the very end. So, you know, I, I'll, I'll... Because normally what the game wants you to do here, if I remember the reel correctly, is go on the boat ride and there's a grapple point, and I don't know, that looks annoying. I want to do it the dead way. I figured this out. I'm going to benefit from me figuring this out. That's what I decided to do. As soon as I can find a dang elevator. How do you get down there? I don't remember this being like a thing. I don't really remember last time I was like just here. Anyway, this is where I'm going. That's a stick. Good thing I'm here to tell those things. They're very important. Yeah, I... Whoa! Hands on! Thank you, hand. Your services exist. How did I get down there before? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no, no? I don't know. How did I get down there before? I am super lost. Oh, hand warp here though. That... I think I just did a loop, right? Or did I? Oh, well there's an elevator, so you know what? Okay. <laughs> I mostly got what I wanted. Alright, then we're at a lower level. That's what an elevator down goes do mean. Oh, wow, English. Good. Yeah, okay. So I think I I think I maybe I came from there or something. This is a complicated little structure they got here. Thank you, magic candles. You're the best. So I've been here before. Yeah! Yeah! We can't hear it! Because there's no alarm here. The alarm is strictly the drums ringing and dinging all about in the place I'm at. But I don't care! My body can't hear it. My body is dead. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Um, implying that I'm gonna have to die when I open the Sarfophilus, which implies then that I will have no room for any mistakes. So, something to keep in mind. So, I don't know exactly where I'm going or... Like, what this is gonna do. But I'm hoping it leads to a similar place as last time, where there was, like... Um... Stuff. Like, just a big elevator. And leads down... To his national archives. Uh, that's a fall? A fake floor, maybe? Maybe. Oh, open. Sure, I can do that. Oh, okay. Ooh, are these the equipment, like, funeral stuff? Like, when a person dies, they, oh, and by respect, then I should close it, but it does not give me the option. Because that this looks like offerings. So, yeah, I am getting, like, funeral area zone here. So I'm not going to open them. That seems like it would be, like, very, very rude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how would I cross here if I was not dead? Huh? How would I cross here if I was not dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elevator. Beam me somewhere. I am being beamed. I'm being lowered. <laughs> no beams involved. I mean, I shot a light beam. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there is a ton of movie reels. 
It is understandable why, but it does feel criminal that we don't get to read the vast majority of them. Ah, oh, beautiful. Where am I, I wonder? Is that the Sarflominus? Sarcophagus? Like, I remember seeing a tower with a whole bunch of movie reels in a lake when I wrong warped. I think it might have been this tower. Like, it looked like that. Like, just like rows and rows of film. Sit on like that. Okay. Alright. So, this is gonna be burnt. Ta da! Yeah. Ah, uh, it's so good. What was that sound? Where are films? Yeah, where are films? Um, I mean, they're all like up there. Uh, where? Can I not get any movies? Oh, does that close or open when this happens? Okay. Okay. So I was hearing the... But I couldn't see very well. There we go. One movie, two movie, three movies right here. I don't know why I counted them one at a time, but that stays closed. Anything else? Like, I'm just kind of doing the rounds here. I just want to make sure. Blah, 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 blah. That's my way out. All right. Sounds like I found what I wanted to find. So I'm gonna take the time to get. So this is history the second. This is history the third, isn't it? No, it's sideways. All right. Well, anyways, uncensored history. That is what I'm most looking forward to. You know, you got two hands. You should be able to grab more. And here's a. Ooh, shows a picture of a lamp and a brain. Okay. That sounds interesting. And the other one seems to be a bug report, right? Like the three. Like there's a bunch of ghosts. No, there's no one about. No, it's just about the internet. Okay. I remember a reel having. Uh... Anyways. I remember ring hanger ring. Weird. Here we go! History time. Dead man love history. Oh, yeah, it is chapter two. I don't know why I, I was bugged out by how it was placed, I guess. So, yeah, remember. Here they are in space. They finally made it. They destroyed their world, carved out their planet, and everyone's hitching it on a ride, and they've done it. They have reached the eye of the universe. Much rejoicing will happen as a leader figure comes forward and gives it a nice scan. And then he zoops it into his eyes. You can see it clearly. It's like, hi, I, uh, it's me, the Owl King. And then I can see the eye just blasting the solar system into ashes, including the sun, which really impressive and including him what this is what so what did the know what Solanum said what about the Ida universe it is pure creativity because there he reaches the eye and has a vision of being blasted skeletonized but then nature taking over does not like that. Freaking out. He hates it. Doesn't show his buddies. Maybe it's just implying a fiction. So yeah. They burn down. So remember, they sacrificed their whole race, their whole planet on this trip. So them burning this up makes a lot of sense. They're building the sarcophagus. This is a sarcophagus. 
I the the diving bell. Mimi. No, it's not. This is another device. Again, I'm I'm going down. This is me going backwards again. What is this? It's a satellite. Oh, that's a diving machine. Okay, so like, remember where I? Okay, way early when I visited the, um, the stranger, I found there's like that really like easy password that you uncork. And there's a logo of a machine with, like, four beams like this. Oh. They seal the eye. Which is why, suddenly, the Nomai stopped receiving waves. This is when the Nomai lost the signal of the eye. It's not that it didn't want to be followed anymore. I think the eye wants to be followed. They followed. And they're like, no. No way, buddy. And they sealed it. They're that powerful. And yeah, the waves. See? We got all these other solar systems all over. Yeah. Nope. No more. And so... The solar system remains at peace. And they decide to isolate themselves, and thus put on the cloak and field. And this is pre-Bramble being Bramble, so this is a long, long time ago. Wow! This is an astonishingly important piece of lore here! What?! What?! Holy moly! Oh, someone's dying. <laughs> Okay, well, time for more stuff. <laughs> so, big old brain. Their brain is similar to our human brains. Brain and a lantern. So here we are in Owl Lab, Owl Tech. Got a big console. Got like got like their head shape there. So got a rough idea what their head shape is under all the plumage. So the fire is there. The fire sets out a big old field. It's like Zappo field. And this man goes in. He's like, yeah. I'm gonna see. He's gonna be in this podium. He's gonna be able to read his brain waves, even though they're not plugged in or anything. That's fine. They are ludicrously advanced technology. I get it. Oh, look at that. Brain is synced. And the brain is green, so he is in owl net right now. Yeah, there we go, and it lights a fire. This is so cool. Whoa, yeah! So, here's an elder. You can tell he's old. He's all walking all, you know, slumped down. He's got a cane, you know. Oh, sh this is sad. I don't want to see an old man just die. So, brain death. He is dead. Uh oh, no, no. None of this. But. But the torch. Look at his face! Okay, rewinding. Look at that. Like, look at that. Sorrow. Ah! I think that was an accident. I think they were just setting up Second Life as a way to reintroduce themselves into their old world that they destroyed. And I think this was- look at his face! He didn't expect that. I think this was an accident. Oh my gosh! Okay! Okay, this is so rad! Wow! Um... Okay. This is funny though, because for this guy, for this one... I don't know if I'm learning how to act- like, so remember that initial- Beam alarm with the thing? Like, how would you cross that if you hadn't figured it out? I don't know. I'm overthinking things, maybe. The third video for me to enjoy. This is, I interpret, like, it's about the internet or a bug report. Or maybe it's just about... No, yeah, see, look, they got the alarm system, like, way, way there. It's like, bong, bango, rango. 
And you know, it's like, yeah, oh hey, the brain can physically hear it. The brain is turning active, so you need brain inactivity, basically. It's like, wobble. Here's me. Yeah, and he gets zapped away. Something I've experienced a few times. And he woke up. But the skeleton, which was shrouded in darkness for this reveal. The torch stays lit. They are being extremely explicit. No brain. There's no brain there. So no connection with the port. So he's just shuffling there and living his best afterlife. Dabo! Yeah! Confirming what I intuited with the environment and gameplay. That is so cool! Like, the way this is all shown is so rad. It is genuinely so cool. Oh, man. But confirmed. But yeah, how do you get here if you don't know that? That's my question. Like, there's a BMOS alarm right at the entrance. Like, are you supposed to just go? Are you supposed to just rush? Uh, I use the fact that I kind of sussed this out on my own to determine that this is a, like, I'm, I feel like I deserve the ability to cheat ahead of time. It sounds stupid, but like you understand what I mean, right? But if you haven't figured this out, like I'm just kind of curious, can you just like gun it? Can you just go like fast or like here and you're like, like, you're, like just kind of recreate this here? Like, you know, you're just kind of here. You look at what's around. Mind you, there's more stuff around, so maybe you're supposed to like turn it off. Ow. Maybe there's like a thing to turn it off somewhere. And I and I skipped a step. I mean I'm willing to see these places out, but I'm not gonna There's a lot of dead people here. There are more than I thought there'd be. I don't know how quick though it took them. Like some people got real old, right? Like I don't know how long it took for them to develop the owl net. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to find, like, another blowy somewhere here? Where even am I at this point? Like, I'm okay with dedicating, like, the rest of today just to see if I can find something. And there's a carpet. Is this where I come from? Where'd the elevator go? Did someone came here and took the elevator? I don't even have a way to use it. Or maybe there's another way here? Maybe you can fall down the pit? <laughs> huh. Alright. Like, I don't want to open up all the, all the things, because it just seems disrespectful. Like, I think they're funeral something. They're funeral related. Respect of the dead and all that, man. Yeah, again, another elevator thing that I don't have access to. Unless that's what the alarm did and it, like, lowered all... Like, it raised all the elevators to trap me here? I guess that's not impossible. This... If you don't know about dying. Like, it feels like, like this is very plain. This is just, you got this huge hallway, right? Like, it's pretty long. You can't dodge side to side. Maybe you just need to figure it out. Maybe this one you need to figure out. I don't know. Like, there's not a ton of thing. I guess I can... I can look in Owlnet to see if there's, like, any passage I'm not seeing in the dark. Because this does make it easier to, again, see the shape of things. Maybe there's, like, a door I'm not seeing. But... 
is not the vibe that I'm getting. Oh. So... Maybe I shouldn't have walked into my orb of darkness. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Hot tip. <laughs> oh, tower's gone. Oh.